Often referred to as the rainforest of the sea, kelp forests are home to an incredible diversity of marine plants and animals. They also provide vital services to humans like protecting our coastlines from erosion by absorbing wave energy and serving us economically by fostering the growth of healthy fisheries. Though these benefits are well known, kelp may also be able to help our oceans by protecting other organisms from the effects of ocean acidification. As photosynthesizers, kelp remove dissolved carbon dioxide from their surroundings, altering local water chemistry in the process. The hope is that healthy kelp forests can buffer the nearby seawater and provide a pH refuge for other marine organisms. For our senior project, we were lucky enough to work with the Bay Foundation and we researched whether kelp forests can serve as a pH refuge for marine organisms from ocean acidification. Over the course of our project, we were able to go out on several field days with the Bay Foundation and a doctoral student from UC Davis to our site just off the coast of the Palos Verdes Peninsula. Here, we collected water samples from within the kelp forest and a control site offshore to compare their water chemistry. We had many new experiences during this project, such as conducting oceanographic fieldwork, collecting data out on the water, learning how to process our water samples in the lab, and meeting some interesting creatures native to our kelp forest along the way. This project has taught me so much about Santa Monica Bay, its kelp forest, and ocean acidification. It's also helped advance my knowledge about environmental science and drive my passions for it. Though our project has come to an end, the research is not over. The Bay Foundation has worked to restore over 34 acres of kelp forest along California's coast and is continuing this mission. Kelp forests are incredibly beautiful and important ecosystems, and it is imperative that we work together as a community to ensure their health. To learn more about our project, the Bay Foundation, or UCLA's Institute of the Environment and Sustainability, check out these links.